What's up, y'all? It's your boy 15 Moves coming back with another video. In this video, I want to talk about Robert Greene's book, The Daily Laws, right? If you have The Daily Laws, like today is March 12th, I want you to go to 312, March 12th, and you will see Perfect Yourself Through Failure. Now, in The Daily Laws, Robert Greene take one day and apply one law whether it's from the 48 or the seduction mastery, whatever the case may be, right? It's basically a copiendum of all his masterpieces put in one 366 meditations on power, seduction, mastery, strategy, and human nature, right? So in today's daily law, Robert Greene is speaking about perfecting yourself through failure. Now, what I want to do is talk about it. Okay, so if you go there, in your daily laws, you're going to see this quote from Robert Greene. Daily law. Malfunctions are a means of education. They are trying to tell you something. You must listen. You know on the color purple, that part when it said, God is trying to tell you something. God is trying to tell you, speak to me. So what this is telling you is that, you know, mistakes are going to happen. But when the mistakes happen, you must listen. See, the problem a lot of us have is that malfunctions or crazy situations, mistakes, disappointments, heartaches, heartbreaks, failures, setbacks will happen, but we don't listen to it. And in this particular daily law where Robert Greene is coming from mastery, you have to go to the second part in mastery and it's the ideal apprenticeship. If you do not have mastery, I suggest you get one. You need to open up mastery and go to part two and you will clearly see the ideal apprentice. Now, the ideal apprentice, this will explain to you how to be the perfect apprentice, the perfect student. But in order to be the perfect student, you must understand malfunctions are a means of education. Do not look at setbacks and failure as something that is out to haunt you, out to get you, out to hurt you, out to defeat you. No, rather look at it as this is something that is out to teach me. This is something that will show me something. Oh my God, how easy would it be if we just sat back and really understood that the female who stepped out on us and cheated on us was there to teach us about fidelity, commitment, and faithfulness. Because had she not stepped out on you, you will not have experienced that pain of loss, that pain of separation. You will not have experienced that pain of hurt. So now when you are happy, you can truly appreciate it. When you have that committed spouse, that committed fiance, you can really appreciate it. How? Because we only learn by comparisons. So you cannot say what a faithful person is until you have had an unfaithful person you cannot tell me what heaven is if you have not experienced hell therefore i must understand that malfunctions are a means of education and they are trying to tell me something i must listen now i want you to pay attention to something that robert green actually did in this quote you know periods are used to end statements okay malfunctions are a means of education Period. They are trying to tell you something. Period. You must listen. Now check this out. The part I want to hone in on is you must listen. Because you must pay attention. One of my favorite quotes is, It is not the sign that matters, but how soon you see it that does. Now, they are trying to tell you something, yes, but you must listen. A sign can sit there and speak to you, but the sign does not matter until you are able to see it. And we all know in hindsight, in hindsight, everybody is smarter than Einstein. Everyone will be more smarter than Einstein with hindsight. I don't care about hindsight. I'm talking about when it's in the moment, the sign is in front of you, you have to see it for what it is. Malfunctions are a means of education. They are trying to tell you something. You must listen. Therefore, when I picked up my daily laws today and I opened up this book and I seen perfect yourself through failure, the first thing I started thinking about was what can failure teach me? Have I experienced any disappointments in my life? Have I experienced any setbacks in my life? Have I had any situations come about that made me say, man, 
I wish this shouldn't have happened. Yes, I've had a few. I can't lie. I'll be perfectly honest. And as, and as fast as I thought about those failures, I thought about perfection. As quick as I thought about those disappointments, I thought about, you know, every setback is a stepping stone for a comeback. I quickly opened up Mastery and I went to part two, the ideal apprenticeship, and I started studying again. Just to say to myself, man, this is awesome. Life is actually perfecting me no matter what the case may be. Think about it. You only appreciate money when you don't have it. You only appreciate commitment when you don't have it. You only appreciate faithfulness when you don't have it. And think about this. The grass is not always greener on the other side. So you may have made a decision in your life that you thought was going to perfect you through success. And it ends up perfecting you through failure. Get back up and keep it moving. I just wanted to hop on and shoot this quick video. Let you guys know I'm back. I'll be uploading content every day. And with that being said, I'm out.